guys, it's Kevin again, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing Chipotle Drama All-Stars Episode 6, No Egg Specs, The Spanish Opposition. Uh, I am really with Kyle, but whatever. Uh, this episode, I actually really, really enjoyed this episode. I thought this episode was, in a word, amazing. Although I wasn't happy with who left, I still thought it was amazing. And I loved every single minute of this episode because there were so many cool twists this episode. Um, especially, I think, on the hero side, there was a jaw-dropping twist on this episode from both the villains and the heroes, and we have talked about both of them, but let's get to the heroes first. So we see with the heroes, and Mike has gone back to his original, um, persona. He's actually better now, and, um, Zoe is very worried, though, because she knows that Mike has the personality disorder, but at the same time, she's not sure if that's Mike himself, because no one knows that there's an evil Mike, and she's not really sure if it's Mike himself, or if it's the actual, you know, if, or if, if, if it's just one of his personalities. Uh, but she's not, she's willing to, to uh, you know, still date him and everything, but she's very worried about him, and she's kind of scared of him. He's doing all that he can to not, he's doing all that he can to not, um, I come back as Evil Mike, but unfortunately, Evil Mike tricks Mike. He tells her that in order to protect Zoe, and I don't know why Mike was so stupid when doing this, he needs to take the boulder for her. He picks up a boulder, crushes himself with it, and Evil Mike comes out. And um, Evil Mike, again, still has this great plan for everyone to get everyone out, and um, that's basically what was going on with Evil Mike. I thought it was really cool what's going on with Evil Mike, and the big big twist here is, well, it's the end of the episode, but it's a very big twist. But then, let's get to Duncan. Now, Duncan is pretty much, um, starting to act like a hero, and he does not like this one bit. This is Duncan we're talking about. He does not like acting like a hero, but he's acting nice, and he doesn't really understand why. He, has, he still does not understand why Gwen broke up with him, which we figure out the reason why at the end of this episode. I was confused as to why, but he doesn't know what's going on exactly, and he's being really nice to everyone, and there are these animals, basically, and he doesn't know, you know, he's being nice to them. By the way, the challenge this week was actually that there was, like, this fun thing that they were doing in the road to get there. They had to, they're basically, the competition was on Boney Island, um, so that's where they had to go. And, um... Basically, that, that's, that's basically what was going on with uh, Duncan. I thought that was definitely a cool storyline. Now, with the villains, there's a lot going on here because there's a big plan to evict Alejandro here. And um, Heather comes up with this plan to evict Alejandro. Alejandro, we can see, though, is definitely starting to fall for Heather. He still likes her. He still wants to be with He wants to actually physically be with her. And um, he, he likes her. He really does like her. But she's not falling for one bit. I, I don't disagree with her. I don't think she should fall for it. Even though it's it's not it's real, she still should not fall for it because of what he's done in the past. I definitely think it's good that she's not following it. Because, I mean, I, I think it was the right thing for her not to, um, you know, to follow it. Um, to, you know, listen to him and do all that stuff. But, um... So, then we basically see that she has this whole plan to evict Alejandro, and, um, it actually was a pretty well thought out plan in my opinion. I think it was a pretty good plan. And, um, she actually finds the Chris Invil Invincibility statue, but, um, at the 11th hour, somehow she misplaces it, and she doesn't know where it is, so she's looking for the Invincibility statue and everything. She doesn't know where she put it. Um, she's kind of just like, where, where oh my gosh, where to go? And, um... Um, and we will get to what basically happened, but, um, the other thing we've talked about is, um, is Gwen. Now, Gwen is actually helping out Cameron. She's making him feel welcome to the team, and, um, she still, people still don't think of her as a hero, though. They think of her as a villain, but Courtney kind of is acting differently around her. She doesn't seem like she hates Gwen anymore, and, um, actually, we find out that the whole reason Gwen broke up with Duncan was because Courtney Seth told her to... And then they would be in an alliance. And that's basically what ended up happening. Uh, Gwen basically went up to Courtney, and, and this is like the end of the episode. We see that first first thing I have to say is that the villains lose the chance. I was actually.
actually happy about because I wanted to see how this whole Alejandro thing was going to, you know, was going to fall down. I wanted to see what would happen here if this was actually going to work, which I was very, I was actually thinking it might work. But, um, Wang goes right up to Courtney and she basically says to Courtney, hey, you know what, I, you know, I'm no longer in a relationship with Duncan. I mean, I'm, I'm now completely single and, um, I bet you basically don't need to hate me anymore. So, Courtney actually forgives Gwen, and they now have an alliance deal. But I'm not so sure if, if this is real or not. I'm not sure if Courtney's being 100% honest with Gwen. I think she is. But I'm not. But in the. But you know, Courtney could, like. I don't know. She could, like, be manipulating Gwen. I, I did not hate Courtney in this episode. I actually thought she had a good plan, her and Heather. I thought their plan was good. But. Here we get to the big stuff, guys. This was the biggest stuff of the episode. Oh, also, Sierra is, um, is more, is, um, you know, looking for another Cody, you know, Cameron thing. She's looking for another person, and, uh, she wanted Duncan to be it, and, um, it, it, I thought that was kind of funny, but nothing really there. Um, but, um, I, I did think that, um, here's the biggest twist, guys. It turns out that Alejandro stole the invisibility statue from Heather. I predicted this as soon as Alejandro would vote out. I'm like, wait a minute, there's some kind of a twist here. Alejandro cannot be voted out this early in the season. We need to see him around. There has to be some kind of twist. It turns out he took the invincibility statue and the last, the, you know, the other person who got votes was Heather herself. She got the flesh and um, you know what? I think Heather kind of deserves it. She did not give Alejandro a chance. She did not, um, listen to him, and he wanted to work with her. He had this whole plan of how he wanted to work with her, and he wanted to start filing a deal with her. He was willing to do it, but she did not believe him. Now, I don't blame her for not believing him, but I do think she should have at least listened to him. Um, basically, I think that's what she should have at least done, but she didn't do that, and that's ultimately why she left. And am I upset that Heather left? Hell yeah, I am, because, I mean, Heather's one of my favorites from the show, and I definitely love seeing Heather again, but she kind of deserves it, because she did not listen to Alejandro, and when you don't listen to Alejandro, you get voted out, um, and that's what happened. And even when you plan to apply against him, you still get voted out, and that is why Alejandro is such a genius player, oh my god, this is, he was, that was a genius move, I was like, oh my god, my jaw just, like, dropped in that part. It was such an amazing move. I thought that was so cool. But then we get to the biggest part of the episode, which is when we see that there's like this song that's playing. And Duncan remembers this song. And you know how in the last episode Duncan said he remembered Mike from somewhere? It turns out when Duncan was in juvie, Mike was there. But it wasn't Mike. His name was Ma Mea. And this is obviously Evil Mike. And he said Evil Mike was not good. And this guy, and he was not good news. So, obviously, Evil Mike, this is not the first time Evil Mike has come out. Evil Mike has come out in the prison with Duncan, and, um, we basically just, Mike is trying his best to get rid of it, and, I, I mean, from what Duncan says, it sounds like it was worse than Duncan, because Duncan, you know, is very destructive and everything, and it, it sounds like it was worse than Duncan, so, we're definitely gonna have to see what happens here. I definitely love this episode, though. I thought it was really, really great. It was hilarious to see Duncan. I love the part where Chris is like, um, next year, we're gonna have Total Drama Sweethearts on the show. That was hilarious. Um, and, um, Duncan was like, I, I thought that part was really funny. But let me know what you guys saw this episode. Do you think Heather deserved to laugh, to leave, to, not to laugh, that's in, that's proper, proper English. Do you think Heather deserved to leave? Do you think that she should have given Oleander a chance? Do you think he sincerely liked her? I think he sincerely liked her. We saw that. He... You know, he voted her out because she tried to vote him out, and that's basically what Alejandro does. Um, what do you think this whole evil Mike claim? What do you, th you know, what do you think this whole evil Mike thing? I don't remember who volunteered to go on Boney Island. I really don't. Um, we just have to see in the last episode. Not much of Scott in this episode. They had this plan to get rid of Scott, but then they decided to get rid of Alejandro, so, uh, yeah. And also, did you like seeing Cameron as a villain? Do you think he fits there? I think he fits well with them overall. You know, you have Gwen who I have a feeling is probably going to get switched because she's acting more like a hero than a villain. Uh, and Courtney and Gwen, do you think they're all actually going to have an alliance now? What do you think? That's it for my review. Hope you enjoy it. So I'll see you guys.
for my review of the original, which will be up later tonight. See you then. Bye.